Hello, and welcome to another episode of Yugi Openings. It has been like a year or something, I can't remember since I did the last one, but today I've decided to delve back into the world of Yu Gi Oh! As in front of us, we have two special packs or whatever of the Legendary Duelists Season 2 boxes, which include a dice. Um, now, I'm not going to lie, I've not really kept up with the releases of Yu Gi Oh! but it seems that these are centered around Kaiba and Mai. Which is kind of interesting, um, and it comes with the dice, which kind of tempted me as well. So today we're going to crack these open. There's two packs in each, and I believe there's 18 cards? Yes, uh, 18 cards in each pack, and we also get one of 10 secret rare variant cards and one of several collectible dice, which is pretty cool. So actually, it does say, uh, it does show the dice there. You can probably tell from the thumbnail already. But I have the two red ones, which is kind of a shame, because I'd have, I'd have really liked the blue eyes one, but whatever, I'm sure everyone wanted that. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to go open both of these up now, and we'll take a look then uh, once I've opened them up, so BRB. Actually, you know what, I'm going to open it on camera, I've sliced the uh, tape off the top of them, but I just want to see what exactly we get inside, so... Um, We'll open it together and experience it as a as a family, as a YouTube family. Um, how the bloody hell? Oh, okay, cool. So, fun fact: apparently, a majority of people begin their video with "Hey guys" or "What's up, guys." I don't think I've ever said that ever. Anyway, that's unrelated to this. So, let's grab the dice first. So, this is a bear tiger. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie; I don't know what that is, but obviously, that is heads. It's a nice dice, to be honest. Oh, yo, and it's got the Yu-Gi-Oh thing. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, the six looks a bit derpy because it's like half of the dice. I, I don't know how I'd feel by using this in like a game or whatever, but uh, that's a collectible thing. That's really nice. There, it's, it's plastic, it's translucent red. Not bad. Let's angle this down a bit. And we get, two, aha, we get two cards and then there's the variant behind. So that's the other reason I want to open these uh, live on camera, to show you that, that was a disaster, show you where I got them. So these are, the, man, these are thick packs, boys. 18 cards, so it makes sense. And the, oh, before I forget, actually, because I bought, spent £20, my local game store, let me choose a previous promo. So I decided to go for Harpy Channeler. Um... Because she's a cute girl, and I, I recognise the Harpy kind of faction of cards. And the card we... Oh, yo! Galaxy Eyes... Uh, wait, what? A Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon? Isn't that Photon Dragon? No? Okay, well, I recognise this card. I've seen this before. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to open it up because it's just one card in there. Not bad. Okay, cool. Put that to the side and we'll open this one up and then we'll get to the packs, shall we? So, the other one, I recognise this dice a bit more, to be honest, than the bear. So, let's have a look. It is a Harpy Lady, I believe. I think I'm right. So, I'm presuming maybe the bear is like Harpy's tiger. Also, oh, do you know, they're not actually the same colour. I thought they were both... Um, the same kind of pinky red, but this is more orangey red, this is more pink. Well, this is just pink, I think. Yeah, yet again, it's got the weird six thing. That's kind of cool, though. There we go. I'll, um, I'll stack those to the side. I'll clear all this up, um, once again. And that, so, let's see. So we've got the star, where is it? We've got the stardust, uh, odd, uh, no, yeah, we've got the galaxy eyes. What else? Okay, cool. It's not a monster. I just saw it. It is a magic or a spell card, rather. Uh, this is bingo machine go, bingo machine go. Brrr. Uh, cool. There we are. Well, there we go. Um, gotta say, galaxy eyes is probably my favourite of the two, but uh, bingo machine is a bingo machine. So there we go. Um, Right, I'm going to clear all this mess up to the side, and then we'll get into all four of these packs, BRB. Alright, I've laid them all out, so we're just going to crack into these. Now, one of the reasons I bought this, actually, uh, well, one of the reasons is my local game store had them on offer for £10 instead of £15, so, you know, I like to, uh, 
I like to support my local game store, especially since lockdown happened and they closed for like half a year. Um, but also because apparently there's like coloured res or something, as in like the hollow is like a red hollow or a blue hollow and stuff like that. I don't fully understand that there's purple or something, so I, I was curious and I haven't opened Yu-Gi-Oh! in a while, so... Let's get into it with Hoppy Lady 2. Now, I don't know the order of these packs, so... First, we're just gonna go through them like regular. Oh, yo, Kyber Man! Let's go! Okay, yeah, I remember, uh, I remember Kyber Man. I don't think it was he in the card or was he just in the anime? Um, I admittedly have spent more time watching the anime than I have playing the card game, so forgive me there. Uh, we've got Har Harpy's pet baby dragon. That's very cute. Uh, right. Ooh, yo, we got a Blackwing card. This is Blackwing. Nothing. The Starlight. Is his name nothing? Oh, okay. Cool, that's, oh man, I love the um, Synchro card, he is a Synchro, isn't he? Um, yeah, no, I, I, I'm very new to this game, I, if, if you're watching this, well done for getting through this, because if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, you're probably screaming at me, and if you're not a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, I don't know why you're watching this, but hey, I appreciate the support regardless. Uh, next up, we have a Photon Change. Oh, then we have a Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Look at those blue eyes. Damn, that is some very nice artwork. This is another reason why I really like Yu-Gi-Oh! Especially delving back into it with no knowledge of what's really gone on for the last, like, ten years of the game or something. We've got a Cybernetic Revolution, and that looks like a um, hell of a lot of blue eyes there. I don't think it's just blue eyes there are. Obviously, there's lots of dragons these days. I, um, I have not kept count. We've got... Okay, so I think we've pulled like a purple rare or something, because the, the text is in purple anyway. We have the ultimate creature of destruction, which is a blue-eyed, three-headed, ultimate blue-eyed dragon? No, blue-eyed, three-headed dragon? I can't remember what it was called now, but that's... The rest of it is in purple, but the text is... Is that the main draw? I thought... I, I assumed the hollow effect was going to be purple, but nah. Wherever we've uh, oh okay we we've got um, a blue text one which is Harpy Harpy Lady Sisters. Now I remember pulling this from like one of the first uh, sets. I I bought you your cards back in the day, and um, yeah. So I've gone alternate. Oh oh shit! It's ho it's hollow. The the artwork is hollow. Let's go. So like all the gold bits and stuff now. Again, I won't be able to tell you the rarity of these cards, as in, like, if it's a secret rare, super rare, or whatever. But, you know, I'll uh, I'll give it a go. We've got Harpy's Pet Dragon. Very nice to go with Harpy's Baby Dragon. That is another hollow. Um, a very kind of subtle hollow there, to be honest. I think his chain is hollow. All right, next up we have Harpy's Featherstorm. This is not a hollow. This is a regular again. Uh, probably an uncommon, I presume. But yeah, so this is a very harpy heavy pack. Well, I say that, but we did pull a blue eyes card as well. We have a Luna Light Yellow Martin. She is very cute. Is that, is that Raftalia from Shield Hero? I've not seen Shield Hero, but you know, it, it, lo it, looks, it looks similar, right? Uh, next up, number 81, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Super Dora. I'm always happy to pull a number card. Um, that is a that is a gimmick I'm a sucker for. Um, I, I kind of enjoyed Zexel from what I watched. I watched most of it. Uh, we've got a Witch of the Black Rose. Look at her. She's a she's a witch, and presumably she has a penchant for black roses, which are very rare roses, especially in Animal Crossing. Next up, we have the Rose Archer. So. Maybe a relation of some kind, but that's that's a that's a cute archer lady. We have Mark of the Rose. Are you seeing a theme here? Because I I I'd be I'd be shocked if you didn't. There is there is a strong rose theme, and the final card for this pack. No, it's not. We have Revival Rose, which is another rose card, but it's 
They're just roses this time. Uh, it's not people obsessed with roses. It is just roses with water or a diamond in them. And now our final pack is El oh elegant egotist. Yo, I remember this card. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. My definitely use this because that name rings a bell. Well, that was a pretty decent pack. Oh, I am. That was a pretty decent pack. I think. Uh, the highlight for me was most definitely uh, that boy there. That's a, that's a cool looking card. I don't know if anything of these things are rare or anything, but uh, hey, it was it was a pretty good pull. So I'm going to work out the pack order now so we can open the next pack uh, with all the goodies right at the end. So give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so... I just kind of worked out the pack order. It is eight cards to the front. Um, I also, just out of curiosity, really checked what like the big pulls are from this set, as far as I could tell. Not that I'm opening this for value or resale. Um, I think Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon seems to be the most quote unquote valuable. And the second one being Bingo Machine Go. Um, not this one. I presume it's the one from the set, but. Uh, Something to keep an eye out for. And I've got the third most valuable one at the moment of recording, which is the um, the Galaxy Eyes uh, alternative dragon. So that's pretty cool. I've opened this wrong. Okay, well, wherever. We have Star Liege Photon Blast Dragon. Yo! That looks like... Um, Ah, uh, the the one I pulled before that, if I can remember, I'll put at the bottom that. Okay, well, we're just starting with red. No, we're not, no. Oh, I thought, I thought that, was, that was blue for a second. No, we've got Rose Lover, which kind of describes the cards at the end of the last pack. We've got uh, Incarcerated Machine Angel. Very nice. Uh, right, next up, we've got... Ooh, Harpy Queen. Damn, she's... Pretty cool. I, I like her. I don't think I've seen that art before. Maybe that's a newer card. I presume there's like harpy support and stuff. Uh, next up, we've got Lunar Light Saber Dancer. I feel like I've seen this card before somewhere. Right? Oh, I've heard the name. Anyway. Uh, oh, yay! We've got a, a Splendid Rose. Yo, that's cool. Very nice. Uh, next up. Is a bird of roses. This is God. This is so heavily in my uh, kind of set, uh, which is weird. Really, I've not pulled as many Kyber cards as I thought I would. But you know, there we go. We've got a merciful machine angel. That's cool. Digging that robot. Uh, is she a robot? I can't tell. She's like a a grey angel woman, I suppose. We've got a cybernetic revolution again. That's the first double we've pulled. We've got an abyss actors curtain call. Very I I do love the like the the some of the cards just like add a bit of flavour to the to the cards and stuff. That that's very nice. Ooh, Galaxy Zero. That's really cool. I think that that's a big ass effect. Holy shit. Uh, next up, oh, okay, we have Abyss Actor, Comic Relief. He definitely looks like the Comic Relief character, I'm not going to lie. Um, cool. Okay, oh, and it's a um, Pendulum, I think that's what the card is. We've got Master with Eyes of Blue. Oh, um, this is relating to the other card, the Eyes of Blue. I can't remember her name now, but he's... Her master, the master of an order that she's a member of, that you have to have blue eyes to join. That seems, that seems like someone in the in the forties in Germany sort of thought the same thing. Uh, we've got uh, Abyss Playhouse, fantastic theatre. That does look like a fantastic theatre. To be fair, I'd go to that theatre. I don't know what the hell's going on in the in the sky though. That's that's a little bit scary. We've got Precess with Eyes of Blue. There we go. So she's... Yeah, I pulled her last time. I want to say, right? She had Eyes of Blue. Ooh, Blackwing. Blackwing Teamer. Obsidian Hawk Jaw. Yeah. Okay, cool. He he teams Blackwings, I guess. Very nice. 
Our penultimate card is a frozen rose, and it's a green. That's cool. So, yeah, so this makes a little more sense, to be honest. I guess that the text is the thing that's coloured and not the, the artwork. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, green. Oh, yo, okay, let's go. It's Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Um, this, uh, that's a purple. Very nice. So this, um, this was in the movie uh, Dark Side of Dimensions pack because I pulled two of these and I gave one to a friend because I just collect them. I don't, I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Even if I do, I'd, I'd play it online and stuff because my eyesight ain't the best and like spending half an hour reading that, I, I say half an hour, I'm being hyperbolic, but you know what I mean. Yo, let's go. Okay, I'm, I'm happy to pull another Chaos Max Dragon, even if it's uh, from a different set and stuff. That... That is very nice. Like, the tips of his wings are glowing and stuff. That's... That's cool. I mean, so far, uh, the dragons have been my best pulls because... Oh, God, that, that was a bit hard. Sorry, I didn't mean to slam them that hard there. Um, I mean, I like harpy stuff, uh, you know, and things like... Kaiba's cool. Um, and I, I just bought these because I was curious, really. Uh, as I said, I, I, I go through phases. I'll open, like, Yu-Gi-Oh cards for, for a bit and then not open them again for a while. I think there's a new tin coming out. Is, is it already out? It's got like the uh, the old Egyptian things of uh, the like paintings of Dark Magician and Blue Eyes. Looks pretty cool. I may pick one up probably when it's on sale because those tins tend to like y y you'll you know you'll find them at like five or ten pounds off if you wait half a year and I'm not in any rush because I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh as I mentioned competitively. Three, four, five, six. Let's put seven to the front then this time, yeah? Because last time we pulled like one of the rares at the start. And yay! Okay, oh, now I think we've got a. Um, yeah, we've got Aura again, the Super Dreadnought thing. Fair enough. We've got Witch of the Black Rose again. Is this. Ooh! This is looking repeat heavy now. We've got Rose Archer. Yeah, we got Mark of the Rose, that Crystal Rose thing, uh, Elegant Egotist, that's weird. Am I pulling the same pack again? It's definitely a new pack, because there's only one left, we'll, we'll see. Uh, oh, oh, this is definitely a new card, Rose Tentacles, wow. Uh, don't, don't Google that, we'll save search off. Uh, we've got Abyss Actor, Extras, oh look at them, they're, they're the Blue Man group. Sorry, I took a swig of water there. Um, next up is Cyber Pharaohs. Pharos? I want to say Pharos. Pharos, because, you know, it's uh, it's Egyptian, but... Oh, wow, okay. We've got a Blackwing, Oster the South Wind. That's very cute. That looks like an Oricorio from Pokemon. The, like, the bird that has the different dancing styles. That is very adorable. We have Photon Change. Remember, change your photons every couple months because they will wear out. Oh, we have the Fantastic Theatre again. Very nice. We have Super Strident Blaze. Yo, let's go. Look at that artwork, man. That's cool. That's a three-headed dragon, if ever I saw one. We've got a Blackbird Close. Um, wait, is that a... That, that's... I know they had... Um, Xevious, no, uh, oh, what? Galaga, no, is it Galaga? No, Gradius, that's it. It had Gradius chips, is that a ship from Gradius? Uh, which is a Konami game, obviously. Ooh, we got ha Cyber Harpy Lady, I remember this from the anime. Didn't she have, didn't my use like a spell card to attach it to a Harpy Lady? I guess they just made it its own card. <laughs> We've pulled another Chaos Max Dragon, and it's a green rare this time. Cool, so I've got a purple and a green of Chaos Max Dragon. Let's go. Okay. I'm happy with that. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, as I said, you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Chaos Max Dragon in general, so... <gasps> Yo! Blue Eyes White Dragon, and it's a purple rare. Oh, boys. Okay, this is like... This is one of the best pulls. This, this is probably the pull of the thing... I know Blue as White Dragon by this time has been reprinted about like 80,000 times, so 
probably isn't very uh, meaningful to anyone, and I don't think it's valuable either. I remember seeing this on the list for like $8 or something, so... No one's clamouring for a, for a purple, rare, blue-eyes, white dragon with like original art. That's cool. I will take that. Hey! And we've got a blue-eyes ultimate dragon. Ah, ultimate is the one with the three head in. That's... Oh, and that's the regular super rare, right? Because it's got the uh, thing. That's cool. That was a ve my god. Those three pulls back to back were actually pretty cool. I'm um, I'm r really happy with that. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay, so I did. So it's seven to the front. But I swear it was eight to the front of the first pack. Okay, cool. So that so far, right? So far, this has been Chaos Max Dragon, Blue Eyes, uh, and then Ultimate. That that's like what a what a combination. That was. That was tasty. I'm just going to check in the back for a second. Just so I can remind myself, it's ultra rare. Um, so there's one standard and two colourful ultra rares. Uh, so obviously the Blue Eyes Ultimate was the regular ultra. And then uh, Blue Eyes and Chaos Max were the colourful ultras. See, I'll, I'll, I'll remember these one day. But there we are. I'm, I'm happy with this now. I think um, wherever I pull in this last pack is just like a cherry on top of the cake. Um, what would I like? I mean, to be fair, right? Uh, I wouldn't mind a blue Chaos Max Dragon, a blue colourful Ultra Rare. Uh, so we've got the purple, we've got the green. Uh, or like the regular Ultra Rare with like the gold text, that would be cool as well. Um, you know, I mean, I've got two of the four Chaos Max Dragons now, so... It's kind of cool. So it's seven to the front, isn't it? One, two, three, five, six, seven. Right. Let's begin. Uh, yay, good. I didn't pull the ultra. We've got a triangle ecstasy spasm. Oh, wow. Okay. That's... I don't exactly know what that is, but fair enough. Oh, we've got a, a alluring miller. Oh my god, I can't speak today. Alluring mirror split. Uh, we've got some hoppies there, so I can see why it's alluring. Next up, we have a cyber egg angel. Okay, it's. I mean, it's not lying. It's exactly what it sounds like, I suppose. Oh, we got rose archer again. Uh, oh, we've got the uh, twilight rose knight again. Uh, oh. We've got a hysterical sigh. A, hyst a hysterical sigh. How do you sigh hysterically? What the hell was that? Okay. Um, right, cool. Uh, I'm not even gonna, not even gonna bother. Uh, ooh, Black Garden. That, that's really cool. Also, like, the artwork for hysterical sigh is amazing. That is some phenomenal artwork there, so, like, kudos to them. Uh, next up, we have a Photon Vanisher. That's cool. I, I like him. He's cool. I think it's a him. It's a robot person. Well, or it's a photon card anyway, as you can tell. Oh, Chaos Form. Okay, that's pretty cool. Next up, we have a Blackwing Gust the Backblast. Cool, I think. Blackwing... Man, there's a lot more Blackwings than I thought there were. Admittedly, I've pulled like four. So, naturally, that fits in with what I expected, Blackwings. Uh, we've got a Cybernetic Revolution. Yet again, I keep reading it with some excitement and then realise I've already opened it. Yeah, uh, already pulled it. We've got Majesty with Eyes of Blue. Ah, oh, look at her. Or him. He's got cute little blue eyes, that white dragon. I wonder what they call him. Uh, oh, right. Our first colourful rare is coming up after this card because Harpy Lady won is not the colourful rare. I don't think. No, it's not. Yo, I really... That looks like comic book, like, art. Do you know, like, the cover of, like, Harpy, issue one? Next up is... N okay, no, I'm really bad at counting. Oh, my God. We have Protector with... A Protector with Eyes of Blue. So, is this, like... Is this a clan, right, that's dedicated to Blue Eyes White Dragon? Is, like, Blue Eyes there their monster and they all have eyes of blue i i don't know i'm making this up as i go along um is this yes hey we've got oh yo hang on this is a green rare happy happy channeler 
Uh, there we go, yeah. So CMART, that's the regular ultra rare version, I suppose. This is green. I, I like green out of all the colours. It's my favourite. So that is... That's pretty cool. And it looks a bit better than the one in the background because this isn't covered in plastic and all reflecty and stuff. Pretty happy with that. Can we pull one more dragon? Ooh. What is this? This is Super Express Bullet Train. Yo, let's go. That's a purple rare. That's a train that looks a bit like a Blue Eyes, right? Wait, wait, wait. Isn't that... Uh, isn't it the first Yu-Gi-Oh! movie that Kaiba gets in a jet that looks like Blue Eyes, right? It's not a plane, but it's close enough. And our last thing, and the plane ultra rare, which I'm still looking forward to. Ooh, I think we have indeed. This is the Blue Eyes... Blue Eyes Solid Dragon? Uh, cool. It, 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 the, the Blue Eyes with the corporeal form, as opposed to the Blue Eyes that are not solid, they're liquid or gas. Oh, cool. Well, hey, we pulled a dragon, we ended the video on a dragon, I think think... no... we haven't seen this one. Okay, Rose Paladin. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, the Ecstasy... Ecstasy uh, Spark. Cool, well... we end with a blue eyes solid dragon, because, uh, you know, that's... I, 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 have, I have... I don't know what's going on with you anymore. But that was pretty good, to be fair. Um, I'm going to wrap up in a second, so give me give me a second, I'll be right back. Alright, so that wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I got some pretty darn good pulls. Um, I was definitely excited to get two Chaos Max Dragons. I'm happy that they're two different colours of Ultra Rares. Um, and pulling that blue eyes, as I said, I, I know probably if you're a big Yu-Gi-Oh person, that's not exciting at all at this point. But it's been a while since I've like naturally pulled a blue eyes that didn't just come as a promo for another you know pack or set or whatever. So that was really cool. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, I will say the harpy subset and stuff I don't care for as much. So to be honest, like I'd say half of the pack pulls were like yeah they were fine. Um, but, you know, I, I may I may get that golden sarcophagus tin with uh, Dark Magician and Blue Eyes on at some point. Don't expect any time soon. I have quite a few trading card things coming up, but they're not Yu-Gi-Oh related. But um, you know, I hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It was a outsider's look into what the hell is going on with Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment. Now there's like speed duel and stuff. I haven't even messed with that because I'm I'm not even picking up a different format. I don't play these, I just collect and make videos. And why am I spending my money on this? I don't really know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will leave a playlist of like trading card stuff in the side there. I think I've got a Yu-Gi-Oh! playlist, actually. Um, and I'll just leave like another recommended video. But um, that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and until my next video, goodbye!